Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you my favorite lipsticks and lip products for fall. These are so gorgeous. Now that I'm looking at them, a lot of them are more of like the browns and like toastier, kind of warmer nude colors. I also have a few that are a little bit more on the bolder side as well. We have everywhere from lip liners, lipsticks, gloss. We have like a soft matte lipstick, a prep product, and then more of like a sheer, like tinted, kind of like a lip balm. The first product is gonna be this one from Butter London. And it is a lip scrub. I have tried so many lip scrubs out there and there are so many on the market that are amazing there's some inexpensive ones you do not have to break the bank but this one for me literally removed every ounce of dead skin on my lips like it made them so smooth and it smells so good literally so divine it's literally just like chunky sugar pieces in there and it is so nourishing super hydrating super moisturizing starting off with some lip liners i do have quite a few they do kind of all look the same they all look more on the nude side but once they're applied to the lips and then using a different lip color on top of it i feel like they all kind of vary in shade and just look a little bit different okay so first lip liner is going to be no surprise a nyx nude truffle it is gorgeous just a deeper like brown kind of color this is what it looks like i wear this so often but especially in fall and winter is when i gravitate towards this one the most such a gorgeous like brownie lip color that's not on the orange side so then i have three from la girl so these are both the shockwave lip liners they glide on amazing super creamy super rich i am wearing the shade gingerbread today which is a beautiful deeper nude tone and it just is gorgeous and then i also have the shade maple glaze Oh, that was maple glaze and then this one is gingerbread which is a little bit deeper as well so it's a little bit more on the darker brown side. This is their Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Chocolate. This one is more of the deeper brown, so it's even darker than all of these, and it's still like bold enough where you can get away with wearing it with a bolder, darker lip color, or you can still wear it with a light one and it just has a beautiful contrast. And then of course we had to throw in a MAC Lip Liner. So this is the MAC Lip Liner in Strip Down. Definitely an oldie, but a goodie. Such a good lip liner. This one goes so well with so many different lipsticks. I actually wore this the other day and in my previous video with the new Milani lipstick, which I'm going to mention in just a second, but it looks so stunning. NYX Butter Gloss, just the OGs. I'm obsessed with them, but this one is a newer shade in the shade Butter Scotch. I think it would pair so well with the lipstick that I have on right now. And these last such a long time. I'm using these for years on years, but this shade in particular is literally gorgeous and it has so much pigment to it. Obsessed. So that was the first one. They have so many different new shades out right now that are perfect for fall, but this one is definitely hands down my favorite for this time of year. Moving into a little bit more of like a soft matte kind of liquid lipstick. These are from NARS and I have two shades that are so, so good, so fall appropriate and has such a long lasting power. So pretty, so pigmented and you just get your money's worth with them I feel. First one is the shade Lose Control and then we have Surrender and these are their air matte liquid lips. More of like a, I want to say like pinky nude. But when it's on the lips with a lip liner, I feel like it comes across a little bit more cooler tone. They last literally so long. So the next one is called Lose Control and this one is the fall shade that you've all been waiting for if you clicked on this video I feel because it is not a nude. It is definitely more of like a burnt kind of rusty tone and it's so so gorgeous. If I'm not going to wear like a rich brown or like a deeper nude kind of lip color. Definitely reach for more of these tones. I believe these shades are pretty new as well, but this is just literally gorgeous. Next up, I have the lipstick that I'm wearing today, which is so gorgeous. I wore it in my previous video. It is the perfect matte lipstick, but it is a little bit more on the cooler nude tone and I am literally obsessed. It's by Milani. So this is one of the new Milani matte lipsticks. Love the packaging, by the way. Like moment for the packaging, hello but the color of this is seriously stunning. It obviously is the nudish tone, but I'm wearing it today and see based off the swatch and then my lips, it's a little bit darker on the lips as well. So you can't always base it off of the swatch. When you pair these lipsticks with other lip liners and then glosses, they do come across a little bit differently. This looks great as is just by itself. It looks awesome with the lip liner that I have on today, which is the MAC one. If you put a gloss over top of it, still so, so stunning. Perfect for all year round, obviously. It is definitely just a really nice, pretty basic nude, but can be worn pretty bold with the perfect lip liner. Next up, I have the Revlon. This is their Color Stay Satin Ink. And of course, it is more of a satin finish. Love, love, love. It looks so stunning on the lips. And this one's in the shade Wild Ride. It does look a little bit more on the brown tone. Definitely outer packaging makes it look a little bit pink-like, but it's totally a little bit deeper. It still has a little bit of shine 
and makes the lips look pretty healthy, but it's not overly shiny like a gloss. It's just like the perfect satin finish. And I love the little doe foot applicator as well. Super easy to apply and just looks really pretty on the lips. So definitely hands down another drugstore lipstick that I love and I feel like everyone needs. So now I have two kind of hydrating tinted lipsticks. If you don't want to have like a matte finish or too glossy or something like that, if you just want it for every day, but just like a subtle hint of a little bit of a deeper color, these are for you. First one being from Persona, and this one is in the shade Meditate. So it's more of like a tinted lip balm, which is so pretty. You can totally use like a deeper lip liner and then use this on top of it. I think this is just stunning and it just goes on very, very sheer like, but it definitely looks healthy on the lips. Totally pair this with like a chocolatey deeper brown lip liner and then pop this in the center. Or you can obviously get away with wearing this by itself and they do have other shades as well. For a little bit more of a bolder tinted lip balm, we have one from NARS, which is in the shade Touch Me. Once it's on the lips, it totally does not appear boom in your face berry. Definitely just like a nice wash of it. It's a tinted lip balm, but still totally pigmented. If you're not someone that wears bold lip colors like myself, you would really appreciate this because you can still see the pigment and it still looks a little bit more on the bolder side. It has that lip balm effect where it's kind of sheer and it's just like a subtle kind of color. And of course they have a bunch of other shades as well that are super flattering. From Giorgio Armani, their Lip Power Lipstick. These are gorgeous. I have another one that's my absolute favorite that's more of a nude shade, but I decided to not throw it in this video because it's a nude. So this one is the shade 405. This one's more of like a rich kind of like orangey tone and I know that's definitely bold for me but I think it looks really really pretty. A nice little pop of color if I want to have that pop for the fall like I said but the actual like formulation of these lipsticks, I have another one right here, is so so good. They last a super long time on the lips. So smooth. They have definitely like a high shine to them as well. The nude shade is I believe 106 is my favorite shade. Well worth the money. They are a little bit more on the pricier side but I definitely tried to pick out some drugstore options and then of course a few higher end ones as well and so so good. Seriously don't skip out on these if you're gonna get a high-end one go to this. And then I do have one from Ofra that's a little bit more on the bolder side. This one's in the shade Ruby. And this one is more of like a burgundy, like red ultimate, like berry color. Like it's so, so pigmented. I'm more of like the deeper nudes kind of girl. So definitely out of the comfort zone, but such a good lip product. They last literally all day and they do dry down pretty matte. So you definitely want to make sure you're hydrating your lips. So my last lip color is going to be a gloss and this is from Maybelline. This is our lifter gloss in the shade Stone. I use this lip color all the time, whether it's fall, winter, summer, doesn't matter. But this is gorgeous over top of a nice brown or deeper nude. You can wear this by itself. Such a nice plump look to the lips. Has hyaluronic acid in it. Feels overall amazing on the lips. Gives a beautiful high shine gloss. Has the color. The pigment is gorgeous. But I want to use the chocolate lip liner. This paired together is so pretty. A lot of these lip colors that I'm sharing today, you can totally get like a bunch of combos out of them. So that's why I love these lip liners because they're super versatile. Worn with a bunch of different lipsticks. So definitely wanted to mention that. Those are all the lip products that I have for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Maybe found it a little helpful. Let me know which fall lip color you guys gravitate more towards. Is it more of the plums and cranberries or more of like the deeper nudes and browns and like warmer tones? Let me know which ones you guys are loving. I think that is all for this video. Again, I'm going to have all of them linked for you below. So make sure to check there and I will see you guys in my next video.